All right, so today I'm gonna be treating my ball pythons for mites using reptile spray. Now everybody that has a collection of snakes is gonna need to know how to do this because everybody runs into this problem at one point. This is my little slick prick Rick and he's a pastel clown. He is my most skittish snake that I have in my collection and it's not very easy to give him, you know. He's the only one that's tried to bite me. So it's not going to be easy, but you know, it has to be done. So you spray it on them and you let it soak for 10 minutes and then you give them like a 30 minute bath. I give them a 30 minute bath. I think that's long enough to wash off any remaining reptile spray that's on them. And it also gives you time so that you can clean out their containment and make sure that it's mite free because you know, obviously you don't want them coming back. But it's always a good idea to always treat them every now and then make sure Alright, so now it's time for Little Rick's bath, and, uh, you know, half half of their body is deep enough. You don't want to go more than half of their body width. Obviously, you want them to be comfortable while they're stuck in there for 30 minutes. I mean, I wouldn't want to be stuck in there for 30 minutes trying to stay up above the water. You know, they get tired too. Another thing to make sure that you do is make sure that you have a heating pad right under it. Um, you gotta keep it warm. It's gotta be comfortable for the, the snake. I did have a problem with a leakage problem and this one, this heating pad in particular of mine kinda got messed up but still works, functions properly and you know, I get my use out of it. All right, so this is how I set up Little Rick's container. This is sphagnum moss back here, wet sphagnum moss for him. Everything's all nice and clean. Even the foliage, you make sure that you use Prevenamite on everything because them little things, they are destructive and they're harmful for your snakes. And it's very hard to get rid of them once you got them. So if you do have them, make sure you do this frequently, but not too frequently. Don't do it when they're shedding or just after a shed. So Little Rick is finally done with his bath and I'm about to dry him off. However, I'm not going to record myself doing it because he's my most skittish one and I don't want to get bit tonight. <laughs> so wish me luck, guys.
All right, so now that there ain't no smell of the provenamite or anything like that in here, you now put your snake in there and that's it. Moving on. Little Draco just staring at me. <laughs> Well, Annabelle don't look too happy down here. All right, it's Draco's turn. Draco is a super fly. He's a super pastel fire. He's actually my first snake. Yeah, I love him so much. That's my buddy. Yeah, he's a trip. Now I'm about to dry him off. He likes messing with the paper towels. He's a weirdo. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you dry them off real good and make sure that their containment's nice and clean, and that's it. I use a white shirt to dry them off on top of with paper towels and a little washcloth. Normally, I use the white, but... I had a blue one, so that's what I have clean and close, so. If any mites do come off, you'll see them on the, on the white t-shirt or on the paper towels. Depends on what you're using. Alright, so we're going to put him in his containment. See how he likes it. Make sure that you clean everything. Literally everything. This is the time to wash out everything, wipe everything down. Make sure you clean all the little foliage that's in there. Right now this is a sea serpent's rack system. They make really good products, so check them out. They don't sponsor me or nothing, but check it out. Looks like little Rick's doing a good job in there. He's liking it. Now it's time for the Annabelle. This is always difficult. Annabelle's a trip. Now I got my rats right under them. I don't recommend doing that, but just started breeding rats and... It's actually really easy. Started with two, now I got 15. All right, now we're gonna soak Annabelle for her 10 minutes in the reptile spray. And she is a fire yellow belly. All right, so now we're going to switch her over to her new bath water, already warmed up and fresh for her. going to stick her in there. It's 
it's always hard to get her in. Okay. I believe I flipped the camera upside down here. <laughs> Oops. Now we can give her her 30 minutes. And I can flip the camera around. <laughs> Okay, so I finished her containment. I used Pro Cocoa mixed with the Exotic Chip. And I put the Sphagnum Moss in the corner, back corner in the hot side. You know, on the hot strip. A little bit of foliage. I don't give her much because she's crazy. She likes to dig and stuff. Give her a little extra substrate and the others, as you could tell. But yeah, it's much needed. She loves it. So, that's all that matters to me. Alright, let's get her dried off. So it's pretty easy to dry Annabelle off. She's more explorative than anything. When I take her outside, she's... She's wanting to go everywhere. So... You just want to dry them off, make sure it's all off of them, and... That's it. Now, luckily I have never ran into mites yet. However, I am a new snake keeper I want to say um, luckily I haven't ran into no snake mite problems but it's probably because I keep you know keep on it you gotta treat them even though you don't know for sure because you never know
All right, so I am now finished with my three snakes. I'll be making more videos and, well, I'll end up with more snakes. Because <laughs> I'm not done yet. Gosh, these rats get loud. <laughs> but yep, I gotta put their hides in. And that's it. Like, comment, subscribe for more.